Hello, uh, my name is Andrew Goodall. I'm the uh, NHS Wales Chief Executive um, and I hope that I had the opportunity to see some of you at uh, previous staff events. Um, I just wanted to give you an update on uh, where we stand on health, education and improvement Wales. And uh, look, I've worked in the NHS for, for many years, too many years to remember. Uh, uh, but actually, this organisation, its creation, is probably one of the most important structural changes um, that we have been looking to introduce on behalf of the NHS Wales system. Um, as a national organisation, it places education and skills of our workforce into one single organisation. And the benefit for me is to ensure that uh, we take the best of these three very successful organisations and uh, have an advantage in bringing together their skills and experience into one place. Whilst being one of the uh, most important changes that we're taking forward. Um, this means that it uh, is an environment which has many challenges, there are lots, lots of risks for us to understand, but we need a clear way forward on the advice of the programme board and I would want to reassure all of you that um, at a level of detail we are working through as a programme board a whole range of issues uh, ranging from uh, finance, from ICT, uh, the structures that we need in place, uh, location and of course some of the uh, detailed arrangements that will need to be in place for the transfer of staff. But we are clear that we will be looking to establish this organisation on safe and proper grounds and we'll be looking to give some advice on the clear timetable for this as we go into the new year. Uh, there remains uh, much to do uh, in a short time scale, um, but I do want to give you uh, some assurance about progress that we are making. So I know you'll be aware about the arrangements in place for an interim uh, chair, which is through uh, Dr Chris Jones. I'm also pleased to report uh, that we have now been able, through a national process, uh, been able to appoint um, the Chief Executive of the organisation, Alex Howells, and Alex will be giving you some personal reflections as, as part of this uh, video message. Um, but we've also had to put in some practical mechanisms to support the work of the programme board. So there is now a transition management team in place that includes representatives of uh, the different organisations making up this new organisation. And I will again have expectations at a level of detail that they give us good advice on the actions necessary, but have a really important role in uh, liaising and linking with you as staff in terms of your expectations for this organisation, and as part of that will be to continue to communicate to you. Moving into the new year, um, we'll be looking to uh, make a, an announcement about the intended location uh, for HEIW. Uh, I know that is an important issue for staff and it's important that we uh, ensure that you are aware of our proposals uh, very quickly. And also we'll be able to uh, let you know about other uh, appointments that have been made to the, uh, the board uh, and also uh, our process in place to make sure that executive appointments are made as well. So uh, I'd just like to finish by uh, once again acknowledging uh, the patience that you've demonstrated in this process. It's a large task to set up a new organisation um, and we need to maintain the existing tasks and duties uh, in the interim period of time. Thank you for your professionalism. Um, I do have confidence that we are going to be able to establish this organisation uh, to meet the expectations that we have for a better workforce for the health and social care system. And finally, uh, I would just like to uh, wish you the best. I hope you have uh, some time for a break uh, over the Christmas and New Year period and we will be coming back and uh, letting you know about the progress in the new year. Thank you very much for listening. Hi, my name's Alex Howells and I've just recently been appointed as the first Chief Executive for Health, Education and Improvement Wales and I'm really excited and looking forward to starting the new role in the new year. I've got 28 years experience in the NHS and I see this new organisation as a massive opportunity to really help create and develop the workforce for today and the future. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to the challenges ahead and to working with all of you. I'll be taking up the new role on the 1st of February and one of my first priorities will be to meet as many staff in the existing organisations as I can. This is really important to me because I think that staff engagement and involvement will be a critical part of the success of the new organisation and it's really important that we start in the way that we mean to go on. I've been really encouraged by the number of people who've contacted me already to tell me about their ideas for the new organisation 
whether they be staff within the existing organisations or people from stakeholder and partner organisations. And I'd encourage anybody to do that. Uh, just drop me a line or, or give me a call uh, at any time. I'm obviously going to be attending the staff event on the 11th of January and the stakeholder event on the 12th of January. So I hope to meet a lot of you at those events. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great Christmas and I look forward to working with you in 2018.